Space fans from around the world will live to remember Monday the 17th of April 2023, after Elon Musk's Starship, the world's biggest rocket, failed to take off from the launch pad in South Texas near Brownsville. How come that the highly anticipated event failed? What went wrong here? And who is to blame? Excitement was at its peak on the weekend following Monday the 17th of April 2023, as space fans eagerly awaited the launch of the SpaceX Starship into Earth's orbit for the first time. That Friday, the Federal Aviation Authority cleared SpaceX's unmanned test run in Cameron County, Texas. From the look of things, all was set for the launch. By Sunday, the stainless steel 120-meter Starship rocket could be seen standing next to the 480-foot launch tower. By Sunday evening, the road leading to the launch pad was jammed with RVs, campers, cars, and even bicycles as many people were trying to make their way to the launch site. These enthusiastic space fans wanted to witness the launch before their eyes. Everyone looked forward to the time SpaceX had promised to launch the Starship as seen in a tweet that reads, the Starship team is go for a prop load, now targeting 8.20 a.m. CT. It is unfortunate that the SpaceX Starship launch was canceled just 10 minutes before the countdown time. John Insprucker, SpaceX's principal engineer, told the company's live stream, the decision right now is that we are going to stop the launch for today. SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk confirmed John Insprucker's earlier communication in a tweet saying, A pressurant valve appears to be frozen, so unless it starts operating soon, no launch today. Thanks to Musk's tweet, we now understand the real problem that led to the cancellation of the launch. It is simple. The valve froze after methane, which is the fuel used for the rocket, was chilled to very low temperatures. Unlike other rockets that use hydrogen, the SpaceX Starship uses methane as its fuel for propulsion. The energy used to power the Starship is produced after methane and liquid oxygen mix and burn. Although hydrogen is lighter and highly efficient, SpaceX chose to use methane which is easier to handle and cheaper to produce than hydrogen. If you think that these SpaceX engineers who were responsible for the failed launch will face Elon Musk's wrath, then you are wrong. One thing you need to understand with Elon is that he always gives his employees room for making mistakes. The tech billionaire believes that innovation can only happen when people make mistakes. In fact, he takes such failures as a chance of learning, as seen in his tweet that reads, Learned a lot today, now offloading propellant, retrying in a few days. You can take Musk's word that the SpaceX Starship will soon be launched. The Starship is basically a two-stage rocket system that has both the booster and the Starship spacecraft. The booster, which is 230 feet long, is known as Super Heavy, and the stainless steel Starship module is 164 feet long. The Super Heavy booster is the most powerful launch vehicle ever developed. It will rely on its 33 Raptor engines that will help it produce 3,991 tons of thrust, which is 15% more than what NASA's Saturn V rocket can produce. These insane numbers are just expected given that this gigantic rocket will have to go as far as Mars, which is 54.6 million kilometers from Earth. Before SpaceX introduced us to the Starship in 2019, NASA's Artemis I was the most powerful rocket. The Artemis One made its debut in an uncrewed mission in November last year, where it sent a NASA vessel known as Orion on a 10-day journey to the moon and back. This space launch system, SLS, produced 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust that saw the rocket launch from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. It is just mind-blowing when you imagine that the SpaceX Starship is two times more powerful than the Artemis One. So what should we expect when the Starship is finally launched? The plan of the voyage still remains unchanged. Starship will leave SpaceX's launch site in Boca Chica Village, and the Super Heavy booster will separate from the Starship spacecraft after about 170 seconds into the flight. After separating, the booster will make a partial return and plunge into the Gulf of Mexico, which is roughly 32 kilometers from the shore. As expected, the Starship spacecraft will continue flying between the Florida Straits. The 164-foot Starship will achieve orbit before making a soft landing about 100 kilometers off the northwest coast of Kauai, a Hawaiian island. It is critical for both the Super Heavy Booster and the Stainless Steel Starship spacecraft to make a soft landing as they will be reused. 
What makes Elon Musk's Starship rocket unique is that it is the first rocket that is fully reusable, making it cheaper than the other rockets. It is absolutely necessary for space launches to be as cheap as possible since it is a very costly affair. In a conversation with the head of TED conferences, Chris Anderson, Musk was asked about the price of traveling to Mars, which he responded saying, If moving to Mars costs, for argument's sake, $100,000, then I think almost anyone can work and save up and eventually have $100,000 and be able to go to Mars if they want. This is some good news to anyone who wants to travel to Mars in the near future. But before the Starship travels to Mars, it will have to take humans to the moon. Japanese billionaire Yasuka Mazawa has already bought some seats in Elon Musk's Starship that will be flying to the moon. Mr. Yasuka will be traveling on the first crewed mission to the moon with eight artists as part of his Dear Moon program. In case you didn't know, Elon Musk's SpaceX is closely working with NASA with the goal of landing humans on the moon as part of the Artemis 3 project. To that effect, American space agency NASA has already awarded a $2.9 billion contract to SpaceX. The success of the SpaceX Starship launch will also be a big win for the Starlink project. Under Starlink, Elon Musk's SpaceX seeks to send more than 42,000 satellites to the Earth's orbit, which will make it possible to supply even the remotest parts on Earth with the Starlink satellite internet. What excites you most about the SpaceX Starship launch? Do you think this could be the beginning of big things for the future? Feel free to share your views in the comments section below. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can always get a notification when we post the latest and most exciting space news that you would not want to miss.